Okay, so it's Ask Tina time, Morgan. What is, uh, okay, this is from Ray, and I'm currently experiencing a betrayal. Two years ago, my boyfriend and I broke up. He quickly moved on while I waited nine months before even looking at another man. A year later, or a year after the breakup, he came back into my life, and we've been dating again for seven months. I have recently found out he's still seeing the woman he left me for and many others. I'm devastated. I should hate him, but my heart is caught up. Help. Mm. Okay, Ray, so here's what I know. You deserve happiness and love, and you can have those things. And the starting point for those things is your own self-love. So here's what I encourage you to contemplate. Uh, in your relationship with this man, how often did you feel appreciated? How often were you sort of thinking that it was going south, but you were, you know, in there doing everything you can to just make it be, make it not be so? How often did you turn a deaf ear or a blind eye or ignore your own feelings, your own inner voice telling you that you should do something differently or you deserve something more? Only you have the answers to that question, but the question helps you to see what your participation in this might have been. This isn't devastating uh, like it just came out of the blue. These kinds of patterns don't just spring up. They formulate over time and we ignore the signs. So you want to be accountable to your participation. More importantly, I want you to, um, to be aware of whether, or at least ask yourself if this kind of pattern not just in love, but in general. Is this something that you have experienced in the past? Have you found yourself feeling uh, all of a sudden betrayed when you feel like you have given so much? I would guess there's a pattern here, and when you explore it and identify it and take ownership of it, then you'll be able, able to begin to dismantle it. That's the work we all have to do when it comes to our hurts, dramas, traumas, upsets, and disappointments. I'm here for you.